Shalom, brothers and sisters and family. Shalom. Welcome to the live Shabbat class. This is your host, Jeremiah Israel, and welcome to another Sabbath day. Before I get started, those who are new and return visitors, please hit the like and subscribe button if you have not done so already. This is a teaching ministry, and I teach according to the word of the Most High God, according to the King James 1611 Bible. This is the last book Bible that was authorized by a black man to be translated into Old English. That was translated. Uh, he was authorized, so that means that when a Tisdale uh, did it the first time, he was killed because it was a uh, sacrilegious or something like that that you know they killed him for translating the book and King James authorized it so that Hebrew scholars Hebrew and Greek scholars translated this book into the King James 1611 Bible now it was it wasn't translated by King James King James did not have anything in regards to writing this Bible in regards to whatever anybody says King James was not gay but he was a black man. You, th th all the things that Esau d does to us, he, they, they were doing that during that time. 1611. They were doing that hundreds of hundreds of years ago to Hebrews. So if you if you want to believe what Esau tells you and says, you know what, you just still, you know, like I'm saying. You standing for nothing. As Malcolm X once said, if you stand for nothing, you fall for everything. Somebody can whisper something against your brother and you you take it out as, as, as true. Enough of that. Uh, my ministry is according to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desired. And Jeremiah 29 and five, telling you how to gather. Build ye houses and live in them. Grow, build your community. Plant ye gardens and eat the fruit of them. And grow your own food. Simple as that. I'm not. I'm not uh, according to a camp. I'm, I'm looking to build with people who want to build, like the things that the Most High God say. Build a community, grow food, grow your own food, and people who are righteous and according to the Most High God are present in that community. Because the thing about it is, gather yourself together, yea, gather together, old nation not desired. That's a particular group of people. It's not specifically for every so called Israelite, because all who are Israel are not Israel. Romans 9 and 5, or 9 and 6, one of them, Romans 9 and 5. Or, or not, but anyway, because you're the seed of Abraham, all that are Israel are not Israel. So the fact is, unbelievers are not included. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. That's not talking about your enemy. That's talking about people that's in your own house. And Christ said, you know, Christ said, and they of your they of your family will be your foes. So anyway, if you guys want to support this ministry, I'm not asking for you to PayPal me any money or cash out me anything, because I don't I don't get down like that. I, I I have I'm I'm too prideful to be begging you for anything. Now if you want to support this ministry and support the things that I'm doing, you can go to Amazon.com and purchase one of the books that I've written. I have a total of 17 or 18 books so far. This is my last writing, Biblical Events. Uh, it's talking about all the all of the great events in the Bible that you should know about. You should know about in the beginning. 
but most of y'all don't know what happened in the beginning and, and a lot of confusion sets there. The story of Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, the flood, it gives you details, give you great details about these events. And we get, I have uh, the great women of the Bible, Tamar, Miriam, Deborah the prophetess, Ruth, Esther, Judith. Also, Sodom and Gomorrah, David and Goliath, Daniel the prophet, Samson and Delilah, Daniel and the lion's den, the miracles of Christ, and upcoming prophecy. I think I covered a, a, a wide range of, of topics here, biblical events. Our precept, you know, this not just full conversation, just me talking and, and, and not, not showing precept. I put the precepts down, then I conversate behind the precepts. Because I stand with I stand with the precepts. Also, Israel, Israelite reconstruction. This discusses the things that, you know, identify the, the things of Israel and discusses the things that we need to do to reconstruct the environment that we're so-called presently living, because we're not constructed co correctly right now. You know, they got they have people walking around as Levite priests, but the Most High God did away with the Levite priests. We have to be able to define and understand what it is and what is not, according to the Word, because there's a lot of confusion among us in regard to righteousness. Christ didn't, Christ didn't have not one Levite priest among him, among his disciples. He didn't have one prophet among his disciples. Ask yourself why. Because the Most High God used prophets. Christ didn't use prophets. He used apostles and disciples and had saints. Prophets was how the Most High Yah spoke to his people. The Holy Ghost is how the Most High Yah speak to his people now, only through, through those who believe in Christ. So, let's get started. Shalom, Israel. This includes you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those of the diaspora dispersed throughout the Americas. Africa, India, Europe, Asia, and the islands. Those of the Sub-Saharan and the Transatlantic Slave Trade. My topic today is the Greek ordinance that most Israelites are presently under. I know that most of you would think that it would be preposterous to think that a law that you that was imposed over two over 2,200 years ago could still be in effect, but it is. I'm going to provide the precepts of the things that happen and you determine whether the Israelites are still practicing these laws. I'm gonna, I'm gonna provide the precepts and you tell me if we are still practicing these. First Maccabees 141, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people Let's, let's get the identification of King Antiochus. King Antiochus uh, Epiphanes, a Greek king, began his rule around 179 BCE until his death in 164 B BCE. I have a source for that. He commanded all the people in every providence that he ruled become as one people like Americans. However, the Israelites who built America have never been treated as the same people. Foreigners can come to America and receive all types of assistance, including land, houses, medical assistance, and free education. America can send billions in aid to assist many nations, but when the Israelites who were brought here as slaves asked for assistance, 
the American government is mysteriously out of money and broke. They, they say it all the time. We don't have no money to support you. But soon as soon as uh, other nations go being a uh, you know other other white nations have a, have a uh, have some kind of tragedy or something, floods and hurricanes and earthquakes and stuff, they send billions of dollars over there. But if, if we ask for a billion dollars in the sit of assistance, oh, we don't got no money for that. We, we, we broke. We, we can't be giving handouts to everybody that asks. But, but you Negroes want to fight the power and fight all of these different uh, governments and stuff, fight all these different uh, entities in the government, why don't you just say, okay, well, we we not gonna, we want to be gone from y'all. We don't want to pay no more taxes. We're not one people. We don't want to be part of this program right here. Matter of fact, we want y'all to pay us all of our tax money, and we'll do the things that we asking y'all to do for us. We don't want to pay no more taxes to y'all because we're not one people. We understand. Because y'all taking our tax dollars and y'all giving it to the other people. Y'all give us some land else away from y'all and y'all don't have to see us no more. Give us our money back and so that we can build our own communities. Nobody smart came up with something out like that. They want to fight all of these other... Oh, we want this in, in March and boycott and all that. Uh, man, forget all that. I mean, the America can send billions in aid to assist many nations, but when the Israelites, who were brought here as slaves, ask for assistance, the American government is mysteriously out of money and broke. To be honest, the American government is the majority of the Israelites' problems. The government was injecting syphilis into Israelite men from 1932 to 1972. I have a source for that. Crack cocaine being distributed by CIA. That's a source for that. And many events where Israelites were run out of their communities got a source for that. These, these are many events like Black Wall Street, got a source for Black Wall Street, and St. Louis riots of 1917, have a source for that. All of these will be on my page. As I mentioned, the American government and all of its alphabet departments have showed their hatred towards the Israelites. They have played the games that Democrats and Republicans play. These are all the games that they play on us. Because they, they, they do some of the most treacherous things to our people that they are still, still doing treacherous, treacherous things. They're allowing all these different companies to do treacherous things like the uh, record labels changing hip-hop music into what it is today. It wasn't that in the beginning. I grew up listening to hip-hop music back in the late 70s, early 80s. It, it wasn't that tragic until the late 90s, to the mid, middle and late 90s. All this, all this uh, gangster rap, that was, not, that, that was a little piece of Hip hop in the beginning. Now gangster rap is all that hip hop is, and it was just a small section. You know, I had poor righteous teachers, the boogie down production. Every, that there, there were a lot of different entertainers in hip hop. That was, you know, it was about fun and and, and, and uh, educating people and all kind of stuff like that. And they they got rid of all those type of uh hip-hop artists, you will never listen to one of those on the radio ever again. First Maccabees 142, and everyone should leave the law so all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king. Now, they know that we're peculiar people, so he said everybody, you know, King Ocean said, you know, 
We all gonna be one people. Everybody leave they law. By, ma by majority, the Israelites have left the laws of Yah and do not want to have anything to do with Yah if they cannot participate with the things in the world. They don't want to have nothing to do with the Most High God. If they can't participate with all of the stuff that's going on in the world, the booty, the booty uh, clapping and booty shaking and all this evil hip-hop music and all of the stuff that, that they're doing now, they don't want to have nothing to do with the Most High God. First Michael B. He's 1 and 43. Yet, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. Many of the Israelites could not wait to agree to the religion of their oppressor. They do not realize that that the democratic donkey is an idol and that Republican elephant is also an idol. Politics, believe it or not, is a religion. Who you voting for? I'm a straight Democrat. You just a re you just a religious zealot. When you are in the, in the Democratic Party, religious zealot in, in the Republican Party. I don't believe nothing the Democrats say. I don't really give a damn. Because both of them my enemies. One of them just going to do what the hell. He, 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 he just as mean as hell. And the other one is going to lie to you. Like you've been lying to most black folks all these years. That's another story. Why do Israelites eat swine's flesh today? When the Jews were Hellenized, pork was introduced to the Jews by the Greeks. When the Greeks received our records translated into the Greek language, the Septuagint, they created laws specifically to defile the Jews. 2 Maccabees 7 and 1. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against their law to taste wine's flesh and were tormented, tormented with scourges and whips they were beating. The, they were beating the hell out of this seven, this, all seven of these people. Mother had, I think she had seven sons, seven seven sons, and their mother. It was eight people in all. They was putting pork up on them, and they were beating the hell out of them to make them eat it, and they wouldn't eat it. Now, we, this is not to say this is what all Israelites did, because that's that's not true. This was the ones that were were still. Keeping the law. Because when, when Daniel said all Israelites have transgressed my law, there was still some righteous Israelites. Because Daniel was righteous. Ezekiel was righteous. Jeremiah was righteous. Baruch. All these were, were righteous people. And there were probably a lot more righteous people, but it, it was not enough to stay the hand of the Most High God. When the Greeks got hold of our records, they knew eating pork was unclean to the Jews. However, Antiochus strongly enforced eating of pork. Edomites claimed that they brought God to the Jews, but they were responsible for taking our God away from us. That's what their job was. This is what the, the Greeks were doing. They were taking, matter of fact, when they came, they took all of all of the, uh, the things we... Uh, According to God, that was in that uh, temple away from us. They took all of the, the tables, they took every, the showbread and everything. Showbread table, they took all the, all the different things that were a representation of our God away from us when they first came. And then they came back. We're going to bring y'all some new gods. Second Maccabees 72. But one of them that spake first, said thus, What wouldest thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die. 
rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. This is the position the righteous found themselves. If it's a position that the righteous found themselves. Although they were commandment keepers, there were not enough righteous Israelites to stay the hand of the Most High God. Daniel 9 and 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed the law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. The prophet Daniel, Baruch, Jeremiah, Ezekiel were all righteous, but they were not enough to support the entire nation. The same today. If you claim to be in this truth, but you will not hearken to observe to do all the commandments, then you are transgressing the Most High God's laws. They are bringing the curses upon us. Because nothing has gotten better, regardless of the religious people prophesying. Nothing got better. You can, you can, if a, if, if a man, a, a, a camp, a, a group of people were righteous, then things would be getting better in that community that they're prophesying in. That people are coming to the Most High God and, and, and doing things like that. They're just trying to replace Christianity with themselves. Most of these camps, are, are, that's all they're doing. You know, because they are envying the membership of the Christian church. They're not, they're not, they're not attacking small little tents of, of, of a church. They, they, you know, uh, uh, an Israelite camp is not going in, in, in front of a church that's, that, that's very small. A, a twelve hundred square foot building. They're not going in front of those. They're envying the big churches. That's what they're going and standing in front of and and and, and having issues with. That tells you right there that that that's their, that they're envying their brothers who are got the monies and got the finances, got the jets, got the planes, got the got the monies and things that they could do whatever you know what they plan to do. Because once they get the same thing, you're going to see how wicked they are too. Because they're not doing anything the Most High God told them to do. They're doing their own will, marching up and down the street, standing on, on, on street corners, talking talking devilish talk or whatever they're talking. The Most High God told them to build ye houses and live in them while we're in Babylon. Plant ye gardens and eat the fruit from them. Grow our own food. Not one of these camps have come up and said, you know what? We're going to do the, the, the commandments of God and build the communities that he told us to build. They ain't doing that. Daniel 9 and 12. And he had confirmed this word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done unto them unto Jerusalem. Jerusalem means to the so-called blacks, to the northern, to the southern kingdom. It has been done unto Jerusalem, meaning that that wasn't talking about all Israel. We're talking about all under the whole heaven has not been done to the people of of the, of the southern kingdom who were transported on slave ships. Under the whole heaven. Because Israelites are still transgressing the multi God's laws. There are things that are done to the Israelites that's not happening to anybody else. Such as the crack, AIDS, school to prison pipeline, redlining, prison lease system, still slavery. Because this, this is the prison lease system. This is part of the arm of, of, of the new slave system. The 13th Amendment is the first part of that arm. We'll say that it's the shoulder, the, the, the joint to the body. The 13th Amendment, 
Then you have the you got the pig laws. You got Jim Crow. You got all either strands of the muscles to that arm. Pig laws, Jim Crow, uh, uh, grandfather claws. Then you got the prison lease system. So that when you become a slave, you know, the, the 13th Amendment is, is how you, they can make you a slave again. Unless you're a prisoner. They, they, would they put that stipulation in the 13th Amendment? They found ways to make you a prison. So here's the pig laws. You're a prisoner. If you, if you don't have a job, you're a felon. And they made they made ways because the sheriff would come during the time of the of the of the, sla the former slave owners' crops. He would come and gather up all the black men in that community and force them and put them in prison and force them to pick that 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 slave that former slave owners' corn, whatever it is, it's cotton or whatever whatever it was. So the thing about it is, yeah, your government forced you back into slavery because they are the ones that created these systems so that you could be a slave. You could be a slave right now. They got pr prisoner pipeline, you know, school to prison pipeline system going on right now. Kids don't even have a chance to to even live a, 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 a prosperous life. So-called blacks and, and Hispanic kids don't have a chance to live a prosperous life because your enemy is targeting your children soon as soon as they are born. Find out how to, how to use them as slaves. And because their parents are destroyed for lack of knowledge, their kids go through hell. You gotta just wake up and see the and see the system playing against you. The prophet Daniel, let me see. No, I'm, I'm past that. Daniel nine and twelve, and he had confirmed this word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done to Jerusalem. Because the Israelites are still transgressing the Most High Yah's laws. There are things that are done to the Israelites that is not happening to anybody else, such as the crack, AIDS, school to prison pipeline, redlining, prison lease system, still slavery. Because if you think about it, redlining is not done to anybody else, it ain't done to the Chinese. The Arabs, it ain't done to them. Second Maccabees 7 and 3. Then the king, being in a rage, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. Oh, y'all boil, boil those boil those pans and boil, boil those big big pots. Make it hot. What are you gonna do with that? When you, when you read things such as this, you know the nationality of the Greeks and the nationality of the, of the Jews. Many so-called white people get offended when so-called Israelites stand up for the Most High God today. The murder you, the murder you in, in a different, they murder you in a different way. Yeah, they murder you in a different way. Because, you know, when you when you uh don't allow man to work, that's murder. To support his family, oh that's murder. When you blackball or black blacklist a person just because they stand up for their God, oh you you murdering them. Not allow them a living. By denying jobs and creating the the council culture. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. When slavery was over, the, the so-called white man 
should have, instead of liberating us, they emancipated us. Knowing that they just set us free, but they still had power to do things to us. When they liberated us, they should have let us go, left us alone, let us be in our own community, just like they did the Japanese. They didn't emancipate the Japanese after World War II, nor did they emancipate the Germans. They, they, America paid money to put to make them people whole again. Who hate so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Israelites more than so-called white people? If you look at real historical records in North, South, and Central America, Africa, and any country where Hebrews reside, they are the most hated. Israelites. Second Maccabees 7 and 4. Which forthwith, being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first and cut off the utmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. Cut his tongue out. Cut his, cut his utmost part of his body, like his shoulders and stuff like that, cut it off. So they, they, they just cut this man up like they was cutting up a chicken. That is the genesis of Israelites eating swine's flesh. The Greeks cut out Israelites' tongues, chopped up their bodies, and cook them in a large melting pot. Boy, I was doing some real serious writing here. And, and they, they cooked them in a large metal pot with a lid and handles. I doubt every Israelite was like this family who would rather suffer death in the worst way or eat pork. I doubt there were there were not another group of seven brothers and sisters in a family that would suffer this this uh this kind of torment or torture. Second Maccabees seven and five. Now when he was thus maimed and all his members he commanded he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus. Wow, they about to fry their brother, and, and the mother was, ex, you know, she was exhorting all her, all her sons, and they was exhorting themselves. We, we going down just like this. You think that many Israelites would not eat pork if they were at risk of being maimed, arms and legs chopped off, tongue cut out, and boiled in a burning hot cauldron? This was the punishment to, for the Israelites' disobedience, and the punishment for the Israelites' disobedience still exists. You don't think... When that, when that black man... Uh, Back in the what it was back in the eighties or nineties, was dr dragged down a dirt road by a car. You don't think that was punishment? Even though the guy that the, the, the white guy, the racist that drug him, you know they they uh, executed him, but that was too even heinous for the white folks, not these good old white folks to say to justify dragging a man down a dirt road until his skin came off and he was just nothing. They just caught him walking down the street, tied him up to the, back, the end of their car, and dragged him down the road. Second Maccabees 7 and 6, The Lord God looketh upon us, and in truth 
had comfort in us as Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared saying, and he shall be comforted in his servants. The Most High Yah takes comfort in his servants who obey him. Although the Israelites are being afflicted, the Most High will take vengeance upon those who are victimizing his children. Isaiah 14, 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So, all you are doing all of this stuff to the so-called blacks, and you hate them, and you despise them, you to the so-called blacks and Hispanics and natives of this world. It's going to come a time when you're going to be getting slaughtered off this earth and there are going to be no more cities built in your name or, in, or any of that. And you don't believe nothing this Bible says, you know, you know, you, some of the black folks talking about the Bible was written by a white man. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again on ships. That's written in the Bible. And we went and the black folk went to slavery again on slave ships. Just like he said it was gonna happen. It happened. So you ain't got to believe it, but you know what? When it happens, you can't run to the side on the right hand side pretending to be a sheep. No, the angel's gonna like, mm -mm, get back over there to you. You wanted the goats. You stand up over there. Don't you move. Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens. As thou hast done. It shall be done unto them. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. All the things y'all did to the Hebrews, the slavery, all of the, the Jim Crow laws and the pig laws and, and, and all the things that you're doing now to impose upon a people. You know, you should be considering the things that's going to return to you. <clears throat> Cause you know I, I'm not gonna do somebody bad to to the point where I know it's gonna return to me. I'm gonna like you know what whatever I'm gonna do to somebody I'm gonna be able to handle it because I ain't gonna do nothing bad to somebody where I can't handle it myself. All the affliction that the Israelites have suffered by the hands of their oppressors will be rewarded back to them. It's not what I say. Y'all can't accuse me of, of saying things that are not being that, that is not being mentioned in this Bible. I'm just supporting it. 2 Maccabees 7 and 7. So when the first was dead after the after the number, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him. Will thou eat before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body? I, I, I'm, I'm going to make known something else. So, the so-called white man has been scalping Hebrews for over a thousand years. They weren't pulling out white folks scabs of these so-called straight-haired uh the people call Indians now, that, that wasn't the scalping that they were doing. They were pulling, they were scalping Hebrews long before. Taking his, cutting his skin off his head with his hair. If you cannot identify the nationality of the Jews and the Greeks, then you should examine their ways. The so-called white man paid for for the scalps of Native Americans, killing them off the land. The Greeks took the skin of the head with the hair that is called scalping. Why did the Greeks 
make it important for the Jews to eat pork. When they took their, when they took hold of the Septuagint, they read the things in the Bible that would make the Israelites unclean. So when they got the, when they got our records translated into Greek so that they could understand us better, oh, all we gotta do is keep them unclean. The swine is unclean to eat. You don't, they don't supposed to touch it. We're gonna make them eat pork. That's what we're gonna do. And now because you're destroyed for lack of knowledge, dumb, dumb, dumbers, just eat pork at will. Oh, uh, eat pork and shrimp. It's eat it from the rooter to the tutor. Leviticus 11.45 For I am the Lord that brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Most High God didn't bring everybody up out of Egypt. To be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. Holy means separate, sanctified, consecrated. If you do not understand what this means, then the Most High is not your father. You are supposed to be holy, like your father, like father, like son. You are supposed to act like your father. Do the things that he commands you to do, to be like him. Y'all acting like devils. So, when you calling yourself a God, how can you be a God when you don't act like the God of your fathers? First John 3 and 10. And this, the children of God, are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Righteousness is a law. If you are if you are an Israelite and you are not keeping the law, then you are not the children of the then you are the children of the devil. This is what's making Israelite by blood, not Israel. If you do not love your brother, then you are children of the devil also. This is not only referring to gangbangers or people who are being reckless with firearms, shooting them in the public, not showing regard for the life of a child, mother, father, passerby. It also refers to Hebrew camp who do not have a Good report with other Hebrews outside of their organization. You you can't you can't just point at other people, but when you are hating other camp members and their brothers and stuff, you are the devil. Leviticus eleven forty forty six. This is the law of the beast and of the fowl and of every living creature that moveth in the waters and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. When the Greeks read the law against beasts, fowls, and fishes that are clean to eat, then why are they offering unclean beasts, fowls, and fishes? If your enemies want to compete against the Israelites for world domination, do you think it would be to their advantage to take advantage of the Israelites' weakness by keeping them unclean? Leviticus 11.47 To make a difference between the unclean and the clean And between the beasts that may be eaten And the beasts that may not be eaten the Israelites required to separate from the unclean And abominable or disgusting Why are these Israelites camped Not taking to heart the will of God 2 Maccabees 7.37 But I as my brethren offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers, beseeching God that he would speedily be merciful upon, unto our nation, and that thou by torments and plagues mayest confess that he alone is God. Now the, now the thing about it is, this is Antiochus doing, but Antiochus was dead probably not long after this. So did Most High God avenge these brothers and, and this mother? Of course he did. Wow. 
So I'm a, what I'm going to do is, but there's going to be no end to this. Uh, I'm going to continue this. 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 We'll con we'll continue topping this up. Uh, the ordinances, the Greek ordinances that most Israelites are presently under, because we are still under these ordinances, whether we want to believe it or not. Because the white man is is is, is crafty enough like that. He leave, like I said, he has left histories of what he did to the Jews to subdue them. And all the things that he has done, like the branding of the Jews back during the time of the Greeks and the Romans. They were branding Jews way before when the white man came upon us this time. In the 1600s, they were branding the Jews to let, let people know who they belonged to. All the things that they, have, that they were doing in this past captivity, they were doing when the Greeks got a hold of us. The Romans got a hold of us. So, there's nothing new under the sun. We're still under those ordinances whether you believe it or not. And regard, because the fact is, regardless of what so-called white people say, you know, most of them are liars and the other ones just don't know. Because they, they, they have records of their forefathers and their forefathers' fathers of what they did to subdue the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. How they keep us arguing against ourselves. What, what things to use. And they always come as devils. They, they have their devil ways that they teach their children to be. Go among them and, you know, the next four or five years, I want you to have them broke up to hating each other and all that kind of stuff. Introduce all kind of hatred, you know, because when they first come, they be brotherhood. It's brotherhood among the brothers. And all of a sudden, when this white man get involved, they can't stand each other. That happens in almost every, every, every group, every so-called so group or something. It, it happens that way. Because if, if, if the white man is not bringing some kind of devilish ways and hatred, uh, you know, perpetuating hatred among the brothers, he's doing something to make certain he's going to rob them or something. Never trust thine enemies, for as iron rusted, sure as he's wickedness. He should be wicked. Anyway, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys want to uh, support my network, because my, my mission is to gather us together, the nation I desired, and then build houses, build communities, and grow our own food. That's the first initiative that what Most High God told us to do. And we can expand that into manufacture goods and services so that we can sell 
off of our, out of our community, not because we don't want traffic coming into our community, but you know, we buy a plot of land somewhere outside of our community, like a, a supermarket or something, and and you know how how the food is messed up today. You know, people would be willing to buy clean meats that they know that the Hebrews are not going to put pestilence and put all kinds of nasty stuff in their food. That way we could prosper. Have a reputation of righteousness. Anyway. Hope you guys got some out of this. And with that family and friends. I like to say shalom.